हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम विनय प्लीज उदित एंड नाउ वी विल टेल यू हाउ सिंपल रेडियो रिसीवर वर्क्स नाउ लेट्स सी हाउ दैट वर्क्स द एंटेना कलेक्ट्स द रेडियो सिग्नल द ट्यून्ड आरएफ फिल्टर प्रोवाइड्स सम इनिशियल सेलेक्टिविटी It prevents strong out of passband signals from saturating the initial amplifier. It allows the signal with frequency in the FM region only to pass through it. Then comes the RF amplifier which amplifies the received signal and feeds it into the mixer. The mixer takes two signals as input, one from the RF amplifier and the other from oscillator. The oscillator is what is used to tune the frequency to our desired station. The frequency mixer changes the incoming radio frequency signal to a higher or lower fixed intermediate frequency. The antenna collects the radio signal. The tuned RF filter provides some initial selectivity. It prevents strong out of passband signals from saturating the initial amplifier. It allows the signal with frequency in the FM region only to pass through it. Then comes the RF amplifier which amplifies the received signal and feeds it into the mixer. The mixer takes two signals as input, one from the RF amplifier and the other from oscillator. The oscillator is what is used to tune the frequency to our desired station. The frequency mixer changes the incoming radio frequency signal to a higher or lower fixed intermediate frequency. The mixer gives the sum and difference of inputs from RF amplifier and oscillator as output. The IF filter filters out the frequency that we want from the output of the mixer. It also consists of an amplifier which amplifies the signal to account for the losses. After this comes the demodulator which takes the encoded information and turns it back to the audio. The final component of the FM receiver is the audio amplifier which basically amplifies the audio signal from the demodulator in two steps voltage amplification and power amplification thus making the audio signal suitable for use by the speaker. The mixer gives the sum and difference of inputs from RF amplifier and oscillator as output. The IF filter filters out the frequency that we want from the output of the mixer. It also consists of an amplifier which amplifies the signal to account for the losses. After this comes the demodulator which takes the encoded information and turns it back to the audio. The final component of the FM receiver is the audio amplifier which basically amplifies the audio signal from the demodulator in two steps voltage amplification and power amplification thus making the audio signal suitable for use by the speaker. So now let us see the uh, circuit of the FM radio receiver. The antenna receives signals of various frequencies. The capacitor C1 is just used to remove stray and DC signals. The main part of the RF amplifier is this LC circuit. By changing the capacitors of this capacitor, we can change the natural frequency of the circuit. Now, any signal with frequency other than the natural frequency of this circuit is grounded and only the one with the na with the frequency same as natural frequency of this circuit is fed into the BJT. The BJT is acting as an amplifier. It is our RF amplifier. VBC here is used for biasing the uh, biasing the BJT. C3 is again used to remove uh, unwanted DC components. The output from RF amplifier is fed into the mixer. The mixer has this arrangement of diodes so that the output produced by it consists of frequencies of F1 plus F2 and F1 minus F2. Where F1 is the frequency of the input from the RF amplifier and F2 is the frequency of the input from the local oscillator. The output of this mixer is fed into the IF filter. This is our circuit of IF filter. This uh, the natural frequency of this LC circuit is 10.7 megahertz, which is same as F1 minus F2. Now you might now you might be wondering why is this fixed fre frequency required? Well, it is so so that the structure of device do not depend on the frequency of the station. And further, this frequency is less than F1, which makes amplification easier. The signal is further amplified, feeding it into the the signal is further amplified by feeding into the IF amplifier. Now, this signal is fed into the demodulator. The demodulator has a complex circuit, which basically converts the encoded information into audio. The signal is then fed into the audio amplifier, which amplifies the signal so that it can be used by the speaker. Now, you might be thinking, 
how do we listen to a desired frequency? For that, let's go back to the RF amplifier. It consists of a variable capacitor. By changing whose capacitor, we can select a desired frequency. Thank you.